Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Noor's Kitchen Connection. Today we'll be making a very nice, delicious and a very easy and tempting recipe of aloo paratha or potato paratha. This is very delicious, very easy to make. Your kids, your family will love it. You can serve it in lunches, dinners or a tea time snack. It is duly delicious. You can pack it in kids' lunch boxes. It is very quick to make healthy and delicious so i hope you're subscribing to my channel sharing all the recipes with your friends and family if you are new to the channel do press the bell icon and subscribe to the channel to get all the recipes on time and for free bismillahirrahmanirrahim so let's start making these delicious paratha first of all we'll prepare the dough for that we'll take three cups of wheat flour And one cup of all-purpose flour. Now we add two teaspoons of salt or you can add salt according to your taste. Now we'll add water gradually to make soft dough. Don't add the water at once so after adding the water slowly and gradually we'll start kneading the dough to make a soft and nice dough to get the best results ever so transfer after kneading the dough Transfer it to the bowl and cover it. Look, the dough would be like this. It would be nice, stretchy and soft. This is a perfect dough. We'll cover it and keep it aside. Meanwhile, we'll start preparing the filling of these potato parathas. For that, we'll take 3 to 4 potatoes boiled and peeled and make sure that they are cool, cool enough before mashing. So mash them well. And... After mashing it well, we'll add fresh coriander, fresh mint and green chilies finely chopped. The quantity of these herbs could be adjusted according to your choice. I've taken uh, one fourth cup of coriander, one fourth cup of mint and one to two green chilies. Now we'll add one and a half teaspoons of salt or you can add salt according to your taste. One teaspoon of red chili powder. The spices are also optional. You can add according to your taste. After adding the red chili powder, we'll add one teaspoon of nigel seeds or kalonji this is very healthy and it has got great health benefits one teaspoon of coriander powder and half a teaspoon of lemon powder or citric acid powder this is totally optional if you want a bit spicy and sour taste you can add otherwise you can quit it's totally optional mix it well until all these spices are well mixed into the potatoes like this now we'll start filling the parathas after taking an appropriate size of the dough ball Spread some plain flour over the working surface. Make the appropriate size ball like this. And now sift some plain flour over the working surface. And flatten this ball like this with a hand uh, or a rolling pin with the help of a rolling pin. Like this, don't extend it too much because we have to fill it with potatoes now. Now we'll put this potato filling into this ball in the mid, exact mid of this uh, dough. 
like this. After filling the potatoes into this uh, dough, we'll close the edges like this. So it is almost entirely covered with the dough, the potatoes. And now press it nicely like this that's it our ball is ready now we'll flatten up and shift it to the working surface flatten it up with the help of hands a little bit and sift some more flour over it and now with the help of a rolling pin we'll roll it to an appropriate size of the paratha like this. After making this paratha with the help of a rolling pin, we'll transfer it to a flat, wide open pan for frying. We'll keep the heat medium to low and keep this paratha for 30 seconds on each side until it is half done and then we'll turn the side like this. After turning the side, we'll again leave it for 30 seconds until it is half done on this side also. At this point, we'll turn it again. Look, it is half done. And now we'll sprinkle some olive oil or whichever oil you want. Or you can also add margarine or butter. It's totally your choice. Leave it until it is nicely golden at a medium low heat. Press it with the help of a spoon a little bit so it is well and evenly golden all around its size. Once it is 30 seconds to 1 minute past, we'll turn the side. Look, it is nicely golden. Now we'll turn its side very nicely done. We'll leave it on this side too to get the beautiful golden color on this side also. This is very delicious, very nice and easy to make. So that's it. Our delicious potato paratha is ready. You can serve it with uh, yogurt or pickles or whatever sauce of your choice. So you can have it as it is. Your friends and family will love it. Let me know in the comment section about all your experiences that you are having after trying all these recipes. If you like the video, press the like button. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to Noor's Kitchen Connection and press the bell icon to get all the recipes on time and for free. So that's it. Our delicious potato paratha is ready. Have it. Enjoy it with your friends and family, let's check it out. It is very crispy, very fragrant and very delicious. So let's taste it. It is nicely cooked and very crispy. It is very delicious. So see you in other good recipes. Till then, take good care of yourself and your loved ones. Allah Hafiz.